Hey, what's up? This is Ian, and we are in North Dakota, and I came here to get this. So I just bought it yesterday, and uh, this has been my dream vehicle for, oh man, a long time. I probably started, I first got interested in these in uh, 2000, it was when I was in San Francisco, and I was street performing, and then on like Grand Ave in Chinatown, I'd see these drive by all the time and I was like man that'd be so cool to have one of those and uh, kind of convert it and do some artistic stuff on the outside and um, some other creative stuff in the back and, and then I went to Japan and I was like well if I get one now then I can't go to Japan and I didn't really have a bunch of money at that time and I was like yeah, I'm gonna go to Japan first and I went to Japan I was there for almost two years and then uh, COVID happened I came back here um, back to snowboarding and then last April, I started looking for these again, and um, man, that's a whole story in itself. I won't go, I'll save that for another video, the whole process and how difficult it's been to find one of these, And um, but I did. I finally did, and it took me, since I started looking, more than a year, and uh, this was my first choice. There's like a bunch of different... Um, Pretty much the ones, the step vans I like the most are the old postal ones, just kind of the style and the size and whatnot, and they're diesel engines. And um, so, yeah, this was my first choice. There's a few other ones that are kind of like similar. This is a 2003 Workhorse P42, and then there's a, a 2002 and a 2004 that looks um, looks similar. They're a little bit different. Um, like this is a dually, but those other ones, 2002 and 2004 are, they're just like a single, <clears throat> not a double in the back there like that. So, um, yeah, I finally got it. And, um, you know, it's kind of funny how I got it. I got to tell you the, a little story how I got it because, um, you know, I was having like, oh, like I was saying, it's, it's been so difficult finding one of these and a whole lot of like frustrating experiences and like close calls and whatnot and then um so i saw this posted on facebook marketplace and i was like wow that one looks pretty good condition and stuff it had low miles it has sixty three thousand and stuff and it's like it looks pretty good it's in pretty good condition the guy was asking ten thousand, and i was like yeah I, I don't got 10 grand to spend on this and i was like i threw a price out there i was like six thousand which is like pretty close to my max of what i could could spend on this and um he's like nah i don't think so <laughs> and then, then i waited like three days and i gave another, another option of like uh 6300 and then uh he just ignored it and then i waited maybe four or five more days and i was just kept thinking about like this is this is the one i want and like i'm not seeing like these are hard these are hard to find like relatively um there's ways to get them like i'll go in another video all about it like they all originate in auctions like and then sometimes private sellers get them and stuff and then we'll uh, get them from the auction and then they'll turn around and sell them and then like so three or four four days later after that i said 6500 and um i don't know what happened and i was thinking of this other one in boston which is uh if you're not super into like studying step fans like i've been for the last you know more than a year then it looks kind of similar to this but the size it's a little has a lower had a lower roof and twice as many miles and twice as much rust and uh and yeah the roof was lower so like your head would be hitting the top and um i was just kind of frustrated and went outside and started banging on some trees in the woods and and then just like, I don't know, it was like kind of therapeutic banging on the trees and like kind of became like a percussion thing and kind of just like drums. It's just like music, man, like really can really touch you. And then I came back inside and I got a message back from the guy saying, um, all right. He's like, he agreed to it. And I was like, what? And so uh, I flew out. So I think the next day I bought a ticket for the next day and or two days later or something. I don't know. And flew out here and man i was really nervous because i did the same thing before where i flew out and then the thing totally fell through 
like almost a year ago. And so I was just like, oh, God, I hope this doesn't happen again. And um, flew out, got here, hardly slept, slept at all. And, um, yeah, g- g- came here and um, it went down. It went well and uh, got a title, bill of sale. And then that was yesterday. And then it took me about a day to get insurance on it. And, um, and then today I finally found out, I was a little worried, like how I was going to get a, um, temp, like be able to drive it home without, since it's not like registered yet. And, uh, what my plan was to do it in Vermont, like Vermont used to have a, a temporary, um, you didn't even have to be from Vermont and they had a temporary 60 day visa, which is kind of similar. They have a visa where if you're not from Vermont, like a permanent visa, you can still, um, apply for registration in vermont vermont plates and stuff if you don't live there but the temporary one they canceled so i called in to double check before is that still going and it's like nope and uh, they canceled it the woman said six months ago or whatever and uh anyways i found uh i found um today i found out i can get a, a temporary transit visa from here and um yeah it doesn't cost much money neither so i'm going to do that i can do it online and so anyways, I'll just show you around a little bit. This is a, I said, a workhorse P42. It's around 20 feet, I believe. It has a lift gate on it. I don't need that. I'm going to get rid of that. If anybody out there is interested in a lift gate, then uh, you can let me know. I might put it up for auction or something. And uh, so the lift gate's got some, don't want to break an ankle here. That's some rust on it. It's not really great. So this is from, uh, I was told it was from nearby, like Fargo. I'm some Fargo. It's another city, like it's right on the border of Minnesota. Another, basically the same city just extends called Moorhead. And I guess this used to um, be used as a postal delivery service from there. And so the door slides down. Um pretty good rust wise like it said it only has like 60,000 miles uh it's got i'm gonna clean it up though i've been studying the last few months how to remove rust and i built a stove i'll show you too that i removed a ton of rust off of this all i recycled like uh scrap metal it's got some but it's not like super bad like you can look at the rails there the frame and that's not bad but i'll clean up what is there and stuff um pretty good condition i had a i got a so before i made the decision to buy buy it i uh i found a mechanic and it was just really great because i've done this before where i like found something kind of had mechanics like look at it and whatnot and um, it's always hard to find someone that will look at it and go off property to look at it but i found someone like the second person i called in fargo and he was willing to do it the same day and um, ended up doing the next day because the owner wasn't going to be here. And um, it went really smooth, the whole thing. And he came and checked it out and said, yeah, it's been pretty good. And the cool thing was this mechanic, well, he was a diesel mechanic, which I was looking for. But he actually works on, like, FedEx vans and stuff. So he had some experience with these. Uh, not exactly these, but kind of similar, like FedEx ones and he was like yeah it's not a piece of junk like a lot of the ones i work on and in pretty good condition it needs uh some new front tires but the back tire back tires it got pretty good tread on it and my plan is to i'm headed headed west for the winter again snowboard do some snowboarding so i'm gonna put some good tread on those and it's got a few weird things about well it's kind of minor thing they could see the the bushing there's no bushings there so they need to be replaced he was kind of like oh you could drive on it but they need to be replaced missing but it's a pretty simple thing to fix and i'm not a mechanic but i want to learn how to fix some stuff so um i'm gonna try to do that myself first and i get a little more information and see if i can um i've been talking to the parts stores and stuff about it so uh, other weird thing, like I guess this doesn't, this needs a cable, like the shifter doesn't work, but, and so this is weird, I don't know why they did that, but all it needs is a, uh, a cable supposedly, but the mechanic 
the people who used to own this, um, they took it somewhere else. And I'm, I'm kind of thinking either one or two things happened. They weren't very familiar with like, this is a workhorse P42, but the chassis is actually like a GM chassis. The engine is a 6.5 diesel. And so it's similar to other, like under, underneath similar to, uh, um, other GM vehicles and Chevy vehicles, but yeah, so they, they so now this app re- actually operates the uh, shifting, and it's really weird. I don't like it. I want to get rid of it, and I want to get this going. But yeah, all it needs is a cable to connect to the transmission. Uh, so that's something that needs to be fixed. But this is it, man. It's like. Yeah, I'm pretty excited. I've won one of these. I've looked at these and bid on these and auctions and for a long time and almost bought one of these. So it's imperfect. It's super dirty. I just like clean, like swept a bunch of crap out of here. And uh, then I'm going to mop it right now. And then, you know, I probably have to sweep it out again. So it's pretty dirty. Um, Yeah, like I said, it's got... And if you can see in there, the mileage, 65,000. And yeah, this is kind of wonky, too. I don't know what's up with that, but probably something that can be fixed. It looks a little bit offset, a little tighter over there and looser over here. So these look like bolts. And so I think to work on the transmission, they can pull this up. Anyways, um, yeah, so this is my thing, man. I've been wanting one of these forever. And so I'm going to convert the inside of it so I can live in it. I'm kind of, I, what I'm planning to do up here is actually raise the roof, make it even higher and put a loft. This is what I've been thinking for a long time. We'll see if I do it. I'm a little like, kind of don't want to mess. I like these like sliding doors and stuff. And I like them. And it's like, uh, we'll be challenging to shrink them. Like, so I was thinking of like putting the, kind of the ceiling um ceiling of sort of the loft like right around this height where you kind of see those cross beams and it's got a backup camera too i haven't even used it yet it's really this is weird i don't like this thing but i haven't really, I only drove it a little bit around the parking lot so it's going to take some getting used to uh so yeah and, you know i'm gonna do some stuff in here put a stove in here insulate it uh, this roof is, man, it's like kind of, this is plec, uh, fle- what's it, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It starts with F, um, not plexiglass, fiberglass. Um, yeah, it'd be better if it was actually aluminum. Like, so all this is aluminum, which is awesome. I can like repurpose a lot of this stuff. Like when I, my idea to build the loft, I can use it on the outside, like walls for, um, stuff and I'm gonna put my turntables here in the back, build a little cart and stuff. All this is all stuff I've been wanting to do for a long time, and then just like I don't know, it's just, it's kind of weird in life how I don't know. Sometimes some things just take forever. Things you want to transpire, and it just kind of seems like they're not gonna happen. And it's just like, ah, oh, is this like what is this a pipe dream? Am I just like why does it have to be so difficult? But, you know, to say that, like, that's, eh, you know, some things are kind of part of my fault, but we'll go that in another video. Anyways, this is Ian and uh, saying so long from, uh, where am I? Fargo. And we're going to be here for, um, I don't know how much longer. I'll be here for another day at least. And just trying to straighten everything out. Just trying to get used to stuff. I want to like learn how to like work on the engine and like this is the first first vehicle I ever bought in my life. And it's only the second vehicle I ever had. My brother gave me a vehicle like back when I was like 25, 26, 25, I think. And um and then after that, and I had that for maybe two, three years tops, and then I and that's when I started teaching in Asia. I first went to Asia, so um, after that, I was just pretty much living in uh, cities, urban areas, San Francisco, Asia. You didn't really need a vehicle. You, you know, you don't need a vehicle if you're living in a big city. Well, I won't say every big city, but where I was, I was on a bike. You 
know, took the bus, the train, um, and I was fine. And I wouldn't want to have a vehicle in those places anyways because they're so pretty crazy. So this is the first one I ever bought. And the directions on how to use the, the shifter is uh, they're about to blow away. So it's really weird. You got to like... Chill out. So, so it's in park. You push it all the way down. Um, I guess they did this. I don't know if I said, but I'm assuming they did this because they couldn't get the part. I don't know if it's because like auto parts, like around this tar time, COVID, people are having you know difficulty getting some parts and stuff, or if they just didn't know, like they thought, like this was like a super niche vehicle where they just didn't work on these kind of vehicles. And so they needed to solve the problem that the cable broke or whatever. And they did this. I don't know. It's really weird. Um, but so bit by bit, I'm going to clean it up. It's real dirty. And um, hopefully some of you are still listening to me and I'm not just talking to myself anymore, but uh, hope you guys have a good one. And, I'm probably going to make, uh, yeah, maybe a lot more videos about this and what I'm going to be doing with it stuff in the future. And this is my dream rig. They got these super cool sliding doors and yeah, some broken stuff like this lock doesn't work. Um, a lot of stuff I need to learn how to do. And yeah, so... Uh, get anything to say feel free to reach out and uh oh i almost should show you if there's any mechanics are there any mechanics out there so um there's also yeah there's some leak some oil leaks looks like oil anyways so i did make actually a little video i was gonna post in some forums and ask what they thought about them i'm not gonna climb up there now because i already did earlier um Anyways, this is Ian. Hope things are going good for you. And um, if not, hang in there. Oh, there's a lot of wild rabbits around here, which is kind of trip. Nice foliage over there. Uh, anyways, this is Ian. So long. Have a good one.